Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silent Red and you're watching Silent Red Tarot. And today I'm doing another pick a card reading. This pick a card reading is going to be what it, what would it be like to live with your person? So if you have a crush or you're dating with somebody right now, you want to know how it would be to live with them, I'm going to let you know right now. We're going to get in a team. I'm going to let you know if they dirty. I'm going to let you know if they're going to pay bills. I'm going to let you know if they going to have people in your bed. I'm going to let you know all of that. Some snitching. Damn, this shit got a lot to say, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Today, I'm feeling so much better. Thank you guys so much for the wishes and the prayers. My mom starts chemo tomorrow, so let's all, you know... Send her some positive energy. Send me some positive energy. I appreciate you guys so much for being there for me. I don't ask anything of you but for you guys to give me positive information, um, energy. Um, and that is free. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not asking any of you guys. I'm not expecting too much of you guys. I just literally think that if all of us pray together, if all of us concentrate our, our positive energy together, it will, you know, boost you know, the positive energy around her, if that makes sense. I just feel like one praying mind is better than two, is better than, I mean, more more than one praying mind is, you know what I mean, multiple praying minds is better than, than one praying mind. So that's how I feel about that. So that's all I'm asking you guys to do. Um, if you want to light a candy, whatever you want to do, I will appreciate that. And I will return that positive energy back. Also, I am working on a pdf i'm going to go ahead and give away because it's almost about to be winter time so i know we're going to want some booze and we're going to want to you know get our things moving along with our crushes and stuff so i'm going to be i've been working on a pdf to show y'all where i get all my oils and my potions and shit and i might do a, i'm gonna do a video i'm not gonna might because i was just gonna do a pdf and I, I was trying to figure out the format because it's a certain way you have to use this stuff i'm about to tell you so that way you can attract the crush and stuff like that but I'm going to have that. I'm going to be working on that this weekend. So I'm going to be giving you guys that. Please note that when I give you this stuff, that that doesn't mean that there, that you don't have to have personalities. Like, you have to still have personality. And once you get them into your possession, your crush in your possession, you have to keep them with your, you know, your um, your great personality. But this would just, you know, help break the ice and stuff like that. So I'm going to be giving you guys that. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything else I got to say to y'all right now, except for I made this bomb ass, uh, fried salmon, y'all ever had fried salmon, that shit is fucking jumping, like, I can't stop eating it, but I have to because it's 10 o'clock at night and I shouldn't be eating, anyway, how are you guys doing, I miss you guys so much, I always miss you guys, I be talking to y'all like y'all can talk back, but it's just, I don't know, you guys are my friends, so. Look at that. I drank that whole thing in one sitting. Basically done. Drunk the whole water bottle. All right, babies. Let's see what it would be like to live with your person. What would it be like to live with Paul the most person? So, I think that you will actually enjoy living with your person. Your person is very, um, very grounded. They're very good with money. Because with this green card, with this nature card, I'm saying they have a green thumb. So green thumb is usually people who, people who have green thumbs are good with growth. So that's with plants, with money, with, you know, abundance, things like that. So this, this person would either be a person that will pay all the bills, God willing. <laughs> God willing, this would be a person that will pay all the bills and you can live rent free. Or this would be a person that's never going to be late on right if you guys are going half of them. This is not a person that's like not going to have that half. This is not a person that's not going to um, run up utilities and not pay no bills. This is not a person that's never going to have groceries in the house. Like this is, and it's also a very, this is also a kind and sharing person. Like this is not somebody who, who, um, it's not somebody who, um, just wants to take, you know what I'm saying? Like they want to share. But what's interesting about this person is if this is a relationship, this is not, um, this, if this is a romantic relationship, if it's a roommate, it's going to make a very good roommate because they're not going to like to argue. They don't like to argue. They rather just not say anything at all and kind of go their separate ways and probably go in their room. Now, if this is romantic, if this is a romantic, um, 
relationship this is going to kind of get in your nerves a little bit because this person doesn't know how to communicate this person doesn't understand that when you move with somebody when you take that next level to the relationship y'all are one so that means that y'all have to communicate you cannot ignore your significant other because you don't agree with their saying or you don't like to argue there's no such thing as i don't like to argue i don't want to communicate right now you have to communicate because you guys are one so that's the only thing i will say about this person so if this is a person that you're trying to um date it's they they will make it a little bit hard for you because they will make it a little bit hard for you because they're not they're not very communicative they like to avoid drama they like to, they don't like noise right but sometimes you need to talk about things especially when you're in the same space as somebody every single day and it's something bothering you and it's something bothering them and they're not trying to say anything it's kind of like nothing ever gets solved so that's the main thing that i would be a little bit that's the only thing i'd be a little bit cautious about because this person doesn't know how to communicate but i mean if you figure out your way around that i think that it'll be okay I think once you guys get past that and you um, let them know that this is a safe space for them to communicate and you let them know that you're not going to accept anything but um, real communication, I think that this um, this this uh, partnership, relationship will work out very well. But right now, this person just isn't used to um, being able to communicate. This person also might have came from like a narcissistic home. And sometimes when you come from a narcissistic home, you're not, uh, which one you use? Okay. You're not always allowed to speak. So this person might come from a place where they, they, um, they weren't allowed to speak. They weren't allowed to express themselves like their parents or whatever, who they used to live with. They didn't really want to hear no shit from them. So they just kind of um, learn how to deal with problems by not seeing anything. So that could be an issue. That's the only thing. Um, getting this person to speak, getting this person to talk about their real feelings could be an issue. And them being a little bit passive aggressive, right? The next thing you have is gratitude. So um, with this card, what I'm seeing, this is this reading is going to be a little bit all over the place. So here's where you might have some issues with them. They, they, they have a habit of staying in the bathroom way too long like first of all okay let's back up back up personality wise this person is going to be very thankful this person is going to be very um attentive to the house this person is going to be very clean they're going to be somebody who who cleans the house who washes the dishes and stuff like that and they're going to be appreciative so they're not going to be fucking shit up and like punching holes in walls and shit because they're going to really appreciate where they live at however the issue might come with this person is when it comes to like showers and sharing a space this person is somebody who takes a forever in the shower so this is a person i don't give a fuck if it's a man or a woman this is a person that I will literally be in the shower for fucking a half an hour and you gotta go to work and you're like yo get out the shower i have to go to work and they're like listen just let me finish shampooing my hair and deep conditioning my hair then i gotta shave my legs and then i gotta moisturize my beard and like you know it's so like it's just like this person literally does their whole fucking routine in the uh, bathroom like you guys know of course you do your whole bathroom uh, routine in the bathroom but it's, it's gonna be at the most inconvenient times like early in the morning this person really has like a fucking 16 step skincare routine then they gotta shave and they gotta shower and they gotta take a shit so next thing you know they've been in the shower for two and a half hours so if you have to go to work early make sure you get your ass up and get in that shower or get in that tub or, before they do because this person takes a long time they like to sing in the shower do all this unnecessary shit in the shower the, the also the last thing they have to do the um the other issue you may have with this person and then i'm gonna see if they're gonna be clean and then we're gonna wrap this up but the other issue that you might have with this person well you will have with this person is eating late at night this person will be in the kitchen cooking a four course dinner at 10 o'clock at night you know what I'm saying? 11 o'clock at night on a fucking tuesday this person will make a spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread with a side of cheesecake and fucking wine and you're like bro it's literally like it smelled good as shit because it woke me up out my sleep but it's literally and even if you're married this is your boyfriend they will literally be cooking a four course meal at night they are or, or at least eat or downstairs eating leftovers this person gets up at night and eats a lot right they gets up and eats a lot however they with this put into the fridge and having this person inside the fridge this person has no problem putting groceries in the house so this is not a person that's going to eat up all the food but not put anything back you get what i'm saying so 
So is this person going to be clean? So yes, <laughs> cause for me, yo, y'all know like me, tarot be funny and shit because it's like you see what you go and see like in the card. So it is. I'm really, I'm literally seeing somebody with a mop in a bucket, like literally with somebody with a mop in a bucket, right? And cause this is like, um, this would be a bucket and this would be like uh, the water and stuff like that. And this would be the mop, girl. You know, listen, don't get me, don't <laughs> listen, tarot. If you're a tarot reader, you understand how I see it and why it's funny, but. This person will literally be up cleaning late at night. This person does, even if, after they done cooking their four course meal, let me get out. After they finish cooking their um their four course meal or whatever they got to do or whatever they want to do, they're um they're literally gonna clean up after themselves and they're gonna make sure it looked like they never was in there. And this person cleans all the time. This person probably has a cleaning ritual where they clean every weekend, every Saturday, every Sunday. So they don't have to worry about this piece of person being dirty. So overall, would this person make a good roommate or would moving in with your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend be good for you? I think so, yes. The only thing is you have to worry about them is being in the bathroom a lot and taking long in the bathroom because they do like literally have like long ass skincare routines or they take long shits and long showers, one or the other, right? And this person getting up at night, eating up at night. So if you're not a person, if you're like, a kitchen clothes type person and you don't want to smell and shit food and stuff like that and i mean that's the only thing but other than that or like if you're the girlfriend or boyfriend that cooks they're gonna eat up all that shit so ain't gonna be no leftovers you're gonna put leftovers in the fridge and they're gonna eat it so just know that you're gonna be cooking a lot because they eat at night but with that being said that is your reading partner and i hope it resonates if so please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in the person to be in that information in the description box below if you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below with that being said i'm going to move on to my second pile what would it be like to live with this person so you got get centered so first of all this person is never going to be home so this is definitely a good person because this person is never going to be home pile number two this is a person this is a person that is always going to go and always has things to do. So never feel like like you basically going to live by yourself. Like they're going to pay their bills because they need somewhere to store their shit. But you're probably never going to see this person. Like this person always got something going on, right? If you... a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you felt like moving in with them or make them spend more time with you or make them want to be around you more you're going to be sadly mistaken and it's not nothing to do with you per se but this person really doesn't like being in the house so since this person doesn't like being in the house they're not going to be in the house they're going to always be out doing something with their friends or something with their co-workers or something with their kids or something with themselves or something with their family like this is not a person that's going to be home at all but if you like to be alone if you're a homebody that likes to be alone this is going to be very very good for you because this person is not going to take any personal space right um me um me personally, me personally, pal number two, I I wouldn't mind having this type of person. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm like trying to walk around and get some tea. I'm sorry. But um, me personally, I like this type of person because I don't like being bothered anyway. So having somebody who's like hardly there that's not going to bother me isn't going to hurt me. So like if you're like a clingy person, this this is going to bother you because you want to feel like this person out cheating. But they're really not out cheating or nothing like that. They just don't like being in the house. You know what I'm saying? They're just not a house. They're not a homebody ass person, right? So... So that's the only thing I would say is that if you want attention or if you want somebody to snuggle in the house with you and watch movies and shit and, and, and uh, drink hot cocoa and all that bullshit, like this person is not finna do that with you, bro. Like not finna do that at all. So that's something that you just gonna have to, um, that's something that you just gonna have to uh, face, something that you just gonna have to, um, to um learn how to deal with but I, a lot of you guys i think this will be good for you guys a lot of my insurance is, i'm seeing like Taurus and capricorn energy some airs energy some of you guys like to be alone anyway and you don't like people in your personal space this person is going to be perfect for you because they're always going to be busy this person probably might be going on business trips as well 
my bad. Even, like, I'm here, even this person work from home, like, they literally gonna work from home or be outside. Like, this person is the type to go to Starbucks and shit like that. And they like to take to go to Starbucks and work or something like that. I go to the park. Like, they don't like sitting in the house if they don't have to. So, your next car out. Your next card out is beauty. So this person is going to like a clean, decorated house. So if it's a man, he's gonna give you this man probably like this man probably will go all to the extent of giving you the money to decorate the house because they like a nice decorated house. Their mother might have a decorated house. I'm seeing like a gold tea house. All right, she doesn't me in there. Let me back up. Some of the some of their moms might be like witches or something like that. Cause I feel like sometimes when you go on like when I go when I go when I have my business and I go on to people's faces, like they can see me and they don't really like me being there. But I'm like, girl, I'm just here to do a reading. I don't give a fuck what you got going on in here. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. But I could back up if you need me to. Like, but with that being said, I um. With that being said, I um. This person likes a nice decorated house. So they're going to want you to really decorate the house. They're going to want you to take care of the house. They're going to want you to take pride in the house. This person might like to have uh, family gatherings a lot. So they might invite their parents over a lot. So you have to deal with that. Even if it's a roommate, they're going to probably invite their parents over a lot. But this person, if this is just a roommate, if you're asking, if you're about to move out with a friend or something, you ask about them, this person is probably going to decorate the house for you guys. But this person really likes nice stuff. They like looking at nice stuff. It's like really common for them to come to a nice, aesthetically pleasing house, right? And they're going to keep that house tidy but the only thing about it this person could be a bit of a, a neat freak and they're going to expect you to keep the house tidy so they ain't going to be no leaving bowls and shit in the sink they, they don't even like a pillow out of place so that might get on your nerves just a little bit because you like listen i'm not a child i if i wanted to be a child i would have lived with my parents because uh, this person could be the type like oh why didn't you put the rug back or why didn't you do this or why didn't you do that you get what i'm saying so it's, that, that could be a little bit issue now if it is, um, if it is a significant other, whether you're a man, if you're a man, like, first of all, you might as well hide your wallet because your girl finna be buying shit every day. She finna be buying candles. She finna be buying flowers. She finna be buying, like, anything she can get her hands on, she's gonna buy it and she's gonna bring it to the crib. So, this is a, this is the type of person that's always gonna be buying shit and putting shit in the house. Like, the house is never gonna be completed. The house is never gonna be, um finish decorating like they always gonna have something new like you're gonna have you're gonna have one of those houses where the wives and stuff literally decorate the house by the season you ever been in a house like that like if there are people who like around halloween and fall they got pumpkins and shit in their house and then christmas they got christmas decorations in the summertime they got like a summery theme and everything is like changed like girl why do you have the time <laughs> right but this is the per this is that type of person even if they have a nine to five job they're going to make it their business to make sure their job their their house is aesthetically pleasing for whatever season it is now if you live if you're asking about a guy um even if he's a guy he may decorate as well um if you're asking about a guy though i will want to say he's going to bring you home gifts and stuff he's always going to be bringing you home shit like this is a romantic relationship this is a sweet guy because he's since you're there he knows you're there he's going to like he's the type of person like if he decides he wants to stop at starbucks and get him like a bagel or something he's going to get you your favorite iced coffee if he decides he's stopping at the gas station and getting gas he's going to pick you up some roses they might be gas station roses but it don't matter it don't matter i pick you up a candy bar like he's always going to be put picking you up something even if he doesn't give it to you in your hand like, you're going to find little stuff like you might come home for work or something like that or come on come out the bathroom and find like you know like a, a Reese's cup in the um refrigerator and you're like oh where does Reese's cup from he's like oh yeah I put that in the refrigerator for you like literally and you're gonna get so used to it you're gonna be like when he doesn't bring you something you're gonna be surprised like you're not gonna get upset about it but you're gonna be surprised and that's how you're gonna know like y'all beefing or something like but this this person he's gonna bring you like a whole bunch of like gifts and just kind of leave them like is this like a ritual because it's like for him he was raising a household this person might have siblings or something like that and he was raising the household if he doesn't have siblings his father did this to his mother or mother and mother or father and father however whatever he into or whatever his family is he he's seen where if you get something you don't come in the house and not bring somebody else something so you don't go get yourself something without bringing somebody who lives with you something you get what i'm saying so that's how this person's attitude is now let's see if he's going to be clean though So you have the emperor. So this person is going to be very, very clean, very, very neat. Um, they're going to keep their self very neat. They're going to be very clean. 
But with all this little bit of chaos going around this statue, I feel like they're going to have a bit of chaos to themselves. Like, I feel like this person might work a lot or work from home or, like, they just have a lot going on. So, they have the habit of, like, leaving, like, gym clothes places, leaving their laptop out with notepads everywhere. It's going to be, like, little stuff like that. Like, this is not going to be, like, trash, dirt, like, we, we all gonna have roaches and mice. Like, this is gonna be, like, clutter. Like, this person probably, like, may, like again, like, because because they always go out and they always buy you something, buy themselves something, they might have, like, like, let's say they get a new, like, uh, charger. They might leave the charger box on the table for a couple of days instead of just going through it in the trash. Stuff like that. But I don't think that it's going to be too petty to where you're not going to be able to handle it or something like that. Or it's going to be like, oh, um, they might have got some water and left the water glass on a coffee table. Like, I do that sometimes. Like, I leave my whatever I was drinking for, like, a couple of nights ago. Sometimes I'll, it, it stays on the table for a couple of days because I just forget. Like, that, it's like that type of person. It's not like a it's not like a, a crazy, like, dirty person where they're, like, leaving, like, all types of food trash and, like, you know, like, uh, Q-tips and shit like that. Use Q-chips. It's like, it's like literally, like, little stuff. You get what I'm saying? But overall, would this be a good person to be with? I think so. I think that this person is probably a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart. They just feel like a very Virgo-ish person besides like the not being organized. But other than that, um, I think so. This would be a, a great person. This would be a thoughtful person. This person is going to pay their bills. They probably won't even be there with you like that. And when they are there with you, just know that they're going to bring you back a gift or whatever or bring you back something like from their travels or stuff like that. This person w does like shop a lot and bring stuff home a lot. So they will have a little bit of clutter. But overall, like, I don't, I don't foresee it being something that's going to like anger you. But with that being said, that is your reading pile number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. If you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. With that being said, I move on to my next pile. Okay, pile number three. Would this be a great person to live with? How would it be to live with this person? I think this person is going to teach you a lot. And not to say that you don't already know a lot and not to say that you're like um, lacking in any areas, but this person was definitely like taught how to cook, taught how to clean. They was taught a lot of life hacks. Like you ever seen a uh, five minute crafts and stuff like that, life hacks where they go around and they show like different things that you can do. And like sometimes you'll be watching it and you'll be like, yo, I've never thought of that. Or no, I, I didn't think that, would, that you could do that with that. Like, you know, say stuff like that. This person is that type of person. Like, they know all the little life hacks because their mom, like, told them, well, if you use baking soda, you can get stains out like this. Or if you cook the spaghetti like this, it would taste good. Like, stuff like that. They know a whole bunch of stuff like that. So, they're going to be teaching you a lot of shit that you didn't know, like, growing up. They're going to be teaching you a lot of shit that you didn't grow. So, you'll constantly be learning from them. Right? And it's going to be fun because it's going to help you grow and it's going to have you doing things that you didn't normally do. Now, even though she have a shirt on, I did hear that this person doesn't like wearing clothes. So this person could be naked. I don't care if this is just a roommate, like somebody you're not sleeping with. They don't like wearing clothes. So that's one thing. So just know that they're they're not gonna um be wearing clothes. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Like when you have company and stuff like that, this is a person that like walks around with a t-shirt with nothing under under, even if it's a guy, like this person literally walks around like half naked any chance they get. You feel what I'm saying? Your next card is um, ups and downs. I see life as incredible ride and I'm lucky to be on it. This person is always gonna be up and available to help. So like, if you need help with something, like this person is gonna be like, oh, let me do it. Like if you're about to cook, this person will oh, let me do it. Or if you're about to clean, oh, let me do it. Like if you're about to, um, Put something up in the crib. Oh, let me do it. Like, this is a, uh, uh, let me do it person. And this person isn't, like, doesn't think that you're not capable. But this person is a little bit controlling. And this person is a little bit, um, this person is a little bit controlling. This person is a little bit, um, 
what is it called? Oh, OCD or something like that. So they, they, like, they like to do stuff themselves because they like it to be done a certain way. They like to do it right. But the thing about that that I can't blame them for is sometimes when people are like narcissistic, they expect you to do things that they, the way that they want them to be done. But instead, this person knows that how would you know how they like it to be done if they're the one that knows how they like it to be done? You get what I'm saying? So this person does have common sense. So that's where they jump and do stuff that they do stuff themselves, right? But sometimes it might get a little bit annoying because you might be like, listen, like, this is my project. Like, you don't, I don't need help. Like, this person is very helpful and they're always going to want to help, right? Um, This person also might have company a lot. This person might have people that come over a lot. And this shit could be spare at the moment and not tell you. Like, you could literally be getting up at 5 in the morning to go to work. And they might be off that day and you wake up and it's, like, literally six people in your living room. And you're like, why is all these people here, like... I know your day off, but, like, when did you plan to have people, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when did you have to have your boys over? When did you plan to have your girls over? And why is, why are y'all even up all early? Like, you know what I'm saying? This person literally making brunch, and they have, this, they have this whole thing planned out, and you never knew about it. You get what I'm saying? So that's the only thing. That's the, that's the one thing I am seeing. Like, this person is a planner, and they like company, they like having people around. But they don't ask permission, and they're not going to, right? They're just, they're just going to assume that you like people, too. This person might leave the water running. This person might leave the water running sometimes because I'm seeing water and I'm seeing weed. So this person could smoke. So if you're not a smoker, this person definitely smokes or has friends that will smoke. So they're going to want to smoke weed in the house. For some of you guys. Now, one thing I am seeing that's going to cause issues, this person doesn't like to take responsibility. So when you guys do get in an argument, like this is not like power one where they don't just like to talk. Like this person literally will deflect the responsibility from them from themselves so if you told them oh i feel away because you did this or i feel away you did that and i feel like you shouldn't did this this way instead of this person saying oh i'm so sorry like i did that to you like i'm i would never do it again like this person this person is literally like you know what um I'm so, oh, I'm upset that you're upset because I feel like you shouldn't be upset. Like this person deflects all responsibility, so that's gonna piss you off. So just be patient with this person. Like this person is not all the way mentally mature enough to to be to have those type of conversations. And you kind of gotta I don't know what you gotta do honestly because I was gonna say you kind of gotta um make them respect like trick them into respect um trick them into doing what you want them to do. Just like you know, but that's what lip is and you shouldn't have to do that. But this person is immature right now, so I mean. As long as you're not a person that feels like you always have to win or always have to say or always have to um have the last word, I don't think it's gonna be too much of an issue. I don't think it's gonna be too much of an issue. So let's see if this person is clean before I wrap this video up. Okay. It's power number one. I mean power number three is person clean. Your card had failed. So this person is clean this person does clean up this person might like plants so you might have a lot of plants over around your house because they like the um they like the uh what plants bring the peace in the the pure air that plants bring this person um this person is clean. Um, this person does like a smelling good house, so they might always be spraying like some type of Febreze or some type of scent because they like spraying that. They like the smell. They might and also because they probably smoke, right? And if you don't know they smoke, that might be at first you might be like, why are you always spraying yourself? Because they might not tell you they smoke at first, and then they start smoking in the house, and you're like, yo, you gonna have to take that shit like on a patio or something like that, or outside or out back. But this person does smoke, and this person, but this person likes incense. This person likes fragrances. This person likes aroma therapy something so they're going to have something glade um thing stick in this person's going to have something to make the house smell good at all times but overall do i feel like this is a good person to move in with i feel like yeah i feel like it wouldn't cause you too much issue i think you're going to learn a lot from this person this person's going to learn a lot from you however arguments may be a little bit of a thing because this person doesn't like to accept responsibility person does not not like to accept responsibility but like that's the worst thing they're not going to be hard to share a space with they're not going to be feeling your stuff they're not going to be missing payments or stuff like that they're going to be you know they're going to be a good um partner to live with but other than that that is your reading call number three i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you are interested in getting a personal reading information in the description box below if you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the description box i mean in the um, comment section below and with that being said i will see you guys in my next reading bye